we live in a country where more than 70% of people, I'm not sure they have up to 500,000 in their bank accounts, and you're buying a Lambo. Abi, are you a forex trader or a fraud star, aka Yahoo? Let me call first. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Abi, you're not answering the question like, are you a Yahoo boy or you're actually I think that was 2020. Then I went broke, bro. What are the things that make forex traders lose money? I love taking crazy risks. Imagine dropping out of school. You must have think that that's crazy. That's answer. madness. Can a forex trader who has made millions go broke? Put it in the back and back. The back can take it from you in seconds. <laughs> in seconds. I've been in this game like some years. If you're a newbie coming to the market, you know, you've been in this market, I can beat you based on experience, mm -hmm. right? But does it still mean that you might not be a better trainer than me? Mm. Based on reason. Just like having a Lamborghini, yeah, it's a super fast car. You can mm. crash in time, right? Yes. But if you get someone who is driving for Formula 1, what are the chances of that guy to crash it? Tiny. I'm enjoying the conversation. I'm even learning. <laughs> Just be rationalist in the market. Something is wrong. If we do something on uh, based on reasons mm. and trust me you're good mm. right you make mistake that's for sure like i tell people traders the problem is you so whenever anything goes on in the market the problem is you mm. i developed that mindset long time ago mm. i do give a lot of traders money to trade because i fund them right i'll tell you when they come back to me i'm like boss i'm sorry i lost this money but i'll tell you bro I was expecting now that I tell them. I yeah, was expecting, I was expecting you. <laughs> you to lose it. The chances of you are falling to lose is tiny because you don't want to make someone else the to suffer. New cats cannot give you something like this, mm. you know, right? Trading is actually broad. There's no limit in trading, I can tell you that. And you know, the funniest thing is when you started to get paid in trading, mm. you blow like, what's going on? Yeah, f this thing. <laughs> it's time. Welcome to World Creation Series Podcast. I'm your host, Chris Annie, and I'm live here with two FX millionaires, okay? These guys are doing amazing stuff in the foreign exchange market, and I'm sure you want to learn from them today. I have with me here, Jeff Benson. How are you doing, Jeff? I'm good. <laughs> and I have here with me, the Lambo guy, Abby Forex. Abby is the first guy who first FX millionaire in Nigeria to buy a Lambo. Habi, how you doing? Very well, very well. Good very to well. see you today. Cheers, bro. And so guys, today we're going to know, are these guys actually making money for Forex or they are doing us like this, like this? So that's why you're going to stay tuned to this podcast. We're going to learn how they make money, okay? What's the inspiration behind what they are doing? And a lot. Hello, friend. Look at a maker. He's been looking for a way he can make money trading cryptocurrency. We haven't seen any yet. He has been searching and searching. He's been looking for a place where he can learn how to trade, no technical analysis and fundamental analysis, and also a signal room that gives him access to trades that can help him make money. Are you like a maker and you're searching for that? Well, I've come with a solution for you. My name is Chris Annie, founder of Dabal School, and are you looking to learn how to make money trading the cryptocurrency market? Are you looking for a short signal room that can help you, uh, give you signals that also give you profit? Well, look no further, the solution is here. Go to www.daba.school, get the trade and make money course, and you will get instant access to our signal room where we post trades. And tomorrow, you can now be like AG Rule who has bought a car with trading, you can be like Mr. Aoun, who has made millions of Naira trading, or you can even be like Ada, who made her first one million Naira trading from what she learned at Daba. Join me, let's make money together. Ambi, let's meet you. Who is Ambi Forex? We've been hearing a lot of Ambi Forex on Instagram, on social media. Who is Ambi Forex? I'm just, uh... Yeah, you're looking at Abby himself, you know, so when you're asking who is Abby for us, now you can see me, be okay. <laughs> uh, so regardless, um, my name is uh, Dan Larry. that's my Yoruba name, and you can call me Abby, and uh, that's, that's just like the intro. Okay, so is Abby guy, Abby is a forex trader or a businessman or... Um, or it's just, it's just um, a show entrepreneur 
What does that mean do for a living? But um, what do you mean by show and th- and so there are people who are into the show business, entertainment. So who knows? You could be an entertainer. You're making money from entertainment. Who so wants to know? Oh, <laughs> <laughs> like a biscuit maker. Uh, Anyone? Like <laughs> People review past. <laughs> nah, I'm not into that. I'm so, a financial trader. Great, great. So let's meet Jeff. Jeffrey Benson. <laughs> okay. Who's Jeff Benson? Okay. Uh, I'm I'm just a normal first trader, random one. Mm-hmm. Just as every other person I was still trying to do that way. <laughs> And I love making money. You know the you know the you know the problem I have with this introduction. These guys are hiding, and I've exposed them today. Okay, they are they they they, they are hiding. They are too. I'm just a common. I'm just a common. Uh, we we know the common ones. I we know the ones that are not common. So, Abby, you've been in the FX industry for the past seven years. How did you get? How did you start? Because uh, the success you've been able to achieve over time. How did you start? Can you give us a short story? Okay, so let me just make it short. Mm. Uh, roughly, I started uh, when I was trying to get an admission into Unilag, you know, and uh, I was just home and I have like a friend, a buddy, then we are on this together, you know, walk in the street, do a lot of things on the street. But we are these two guys that are, we don't want to miss profit. We just want to look for ways to make money, mm. right? Uh, we're conversant with digital, even though we don't have like good phones, we don't have good laptops, mm. but we are opportune to like uh, have friends that has actual phone that's good and laptop. Uh, so we are always like spending our time researching how we can make money online because we are aware that okay, things were going on like 2015 and 16. We are aware that things are going on online. So mm. we always research how we can make money online. Regardless of online, we also did offline. Mm. Offline, I could tell you, man, I walk miles, try to look for, go to like all uh, these business center. Mm. Okay, do, do you have work for us? Wow. I, I searched for a job, bro. I worked. Wow. With my friend. And uh, then I was, see, I was still quite young, you know. And even while I was still young, because I was still under my parents, I was getting money, you know, they were feeling me where everything is good. But I would just always have that energy to just do so your own thing. Do my own thing, right? And I'm very glad that I met like that that kind of person that has the same mindset with me, like I said, my friend. So we're opportunity to after checking so many shops, do you have work for us? We're opportunity to get job at two places, right? This first place was uh was more of like a lounge, right? A lounge we're gonna get like twenty thousand naira a month mm. then. And we need to have uniform. We need to resume by nine AM. We close by eight PM. We thought about that watch. That was hard. Because we're still like mommy's boy then. Okay. And we can't do that. Right? Because of the timing and you have to wear uniform. Mm. We got another one like copyrighting, stuff like that, right? That was also twenty thousand there salary per month, right? Uh, that was good for us because it's even close to where we were staying, right? And my I and my friend we opportunity to get the same job, so I was then we went back home. We're asking ourselves twenty thousand there Does you actually worth it, hmm. right? Because on the normal day, my parent gives me actually overall in a month, right? I make more than that because. Even even without working, I still boss much more with three K, five K. I get you know, but thought about it, twenty thousand naira is nothing, right? So I just at that moment, I've always thought about having more, like just go beyond beyond that thought. So we're supposed to resume the job on Monday, right? I and my friend we spoke about it that we're not gonna start, so, and then. We've already like everything that's always coming up online since we set, right? Like I said, we have the option of offline and online. Mm. We're always searching online is forest trading ads. Mm. Right? Those are the time that Apari was still really in Nigeria. Uh what's his name? Uh FX was still really very much in Nigeria then. So all those yeah ads all what we see. So I went to like do more research on uh about forest trading. Then as I seen lot of things online one way or the other before we even got the job 
right? I've started making more research about forest and it's nice seeing people online doing this thing, right? So Monday, we were supposed to resume the job and I told my guy, ah, man, I'm not going to go for that job. Mm. I don't want that 20,000. Mm. Because when I even told my sister, my sister said, uh, ah, psh, don't worry, don't do the job. I'll give you the 20,000. Wow. No. Sorry, I wouldn't say dollar. We <laughs> 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 used the dollar, bro. <laughs> Actually, I was not, I didn't I didn't I didn't go to that job uh to that job not because my sister said well, she would give me that twenty thousand naira but because well I told you about myself that that twenty thousand naira does not worth it mm. right I don't want to do nine to five I'm mean, collecting that no oh. yes because once you start at nine to five you stick to your head you won't have time for any other thing again and you won't have time to think about any other thing mm. so you're limited one way or the other like mm. so I go went with my first option which is going for this online trading right so i started doing more research and i was lucky to come about baby peeps mm. and by the way my friend actually started the job right but for me i did it right but though i was always supporting him i used to go to that place where he works mm. to like check on him like i'll show you <laughs> exactly well when he collects his salary yes he spent it he really would give me small money but it's fire you know but the day will carry me out to shop right when pay didn't come, well, it's good. And sometimes they <laughs> and sometimes one of them is the salary. <laughs> and sometimes self, they don't pay salary on time, or you know salary, you understand. And this guy wakes up every day. So we we had this dream for forest training then because we were doing all this research. But I see that this guy who affected him was uh he stopped having time to actually think about that. Yeah. Right, he stopped his mindset started changing to become the nine to five guy. Exactly. Right, and not before then we've actually not even entered school yet. Mm. Right. So I started the online stuff, making research, and I was lucky to come about baby peace. Right. I can tell you, like baby peace is the foundation of my all forest knowledge throughout till now. Mm. That's the foundation. Anybody wants to go into Forex now, so baby peeps. Just go to www.babypeeps.com. Mm. That's what you need. Mm. That's where I got my foundation knowledge from the fundamental, everything. Mm. Mm. Right. So that was the play I started with. Right. Now, the another challenge was how am I going to get money to start trading? Mm. So let me just cut the story short. Right. The money I started trading with back then was money I was able to wire from my parents, the money I was given. <laughs> With the hope that okay, I'm gonna, cause I used to see all these guys in Lamb uh, Lamborghini, Rolls Royce, and back then those the guys that motivated me into the forest industry as right now I don't even look up to them anymore. Wow, right now let me mention the name right like see we know somebody like Joel Dollary, mm. Braden FX, you know these guys. Mm. Uh, what's it called? Shirley. Uh, I'm not. Those are the guys really back then. Mm. Uh, these are the people we looked up to when we were coming up, right? But these guys right now, I feel like if I'm not in their level today, mm. some of them don't even Talk I've not seen I'm not seeing them. I feel like I've passed them. Mm. You know. So I'm glad that I was able to see those kind of people to inspire me, mm. even from afar. Mm. It wasn't their lifestyle, right? Mm. But I said, okay, these guys are making money, so I can make money from mm. Well, like that, aside the struggle, that's how it all came up about. The money your parents gave you, did you make money with it or you lost it then? I lost it, bro. <laughs> I know the funniest thing is, I lost money, right? But never one day have I thought about giving up this thing. Mm. Once I lose that money, exactly. I start thinking of how do I get out of that money, mm. right? But I trade them with tire because there's some time that it was not, <laughs> money was not coming out, right? <laughs> so I was like trading them with some things like, because uh, there's no money again to trade. So I started trading them just for practice then because of the passion I have for the game. Mm. Out of uh, curiosity, I started sharing the demo trades. I was sharing the demo analysis out. Even though I was not making money, mm. I don't know what I was doing. I was just sharing it out to, okay, guys, this is it. And back then in Nigeria, I think I used to say this story. There's nobody then that thing is doing forest trading that you can say you're looking up to in Nigeria. That can give you hope. No one. Everybody was a loser. <laughs> oh, no, I was in that. Okay, okay, okay. okay. People, people were not like uh, obvious online. Mm. I would say everybody's a loser. Okay. No. 
people are that people that are low key, they are making money in the forest industry. Okay. But back then when we're coming up, there's no one you want to look look up. So I said, Oh man, this guy, I need to be like you. Jeff, what motivated you into forex trading? Uh, the major motivation for me was I just want financial freedom. I want to make money. <laughs> I want to do the show down. <laughs> <laughs> The menu shut down. Did you do some minutes? And when did you get started? Uh, I think officially 2016, 2017. Mm. So it was when I actually um, I, I left school. I dropped out. I said, I'm not doing it again. Wow. Yeah. Because you dropped out of school because of Forex. From law school, I said, okay, this thing. Oh, you're supposed to be a lawyer. Yeah. Now you're supposed to be a lawyer. You're supposed to be a lawyer. You're supposed to be so you know, you know, you know, you know, help him, 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 that our millennial Jeff Benson was in court today. My lord, if I may, <laughs> I I <laughs> no question. We should like the one. All right, so that was it. That was a bold move. Mm -hmm. So it's like I didn't drop power because of Forest, but I didn't know what Forest was then. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I dropped out. That was 2014, 2015. I said, okay, after I finished my diploma in law, I already got an admission and all of that. Hey, there's a lot of story. I forgot my post and did date there. because I was busy looking for ways to just make money online mm. because I wanted more. I wanted mm. more. What kind of person before I do anything? I love to check who are those people that have done this exact same thing and where are they right now? Mm. Uh, can I be can I at least be like them or mm. be a little bit more than them? So yeah. I checked this thing in a lot of space. I found that it was really hard for it to be really successful. Oh, being a lawyer, yeah. what I want to do. I've been successful to that level that I wanted. You understand? Mm. So I'm not saying they're not successful, but I want the Lamborghini dream, I no, have that no. dream, and no. I'm like, mm, who are these guys? I checked around, guys have graduated from school. Then, I school in Delta State University. Mm. If you know Delta State University, you know that their honors is in uh, only mm. engineering and law, mm. staying only. That's in a very thick village. Mm. That was already pissing me off too. Mm. Like, coming from Lagos to the village, I'm like, hey, um, I can't cope with this dude. So I just shut everything out and then I came back to Lagos, started searching for ways to make money online. I've done graphic design, I've done video editing, I've done transcribing on, on Fiverr, I've done, sure. I've done freelancer, I've done, I've done design of card, bedding, many things, sure. I've done several things, I've done, I've sold phones in computer village, uh, like that, but I've never done a job, I don't know how a paycheck looks like, mm. I've never worked for anyone, so those are just the things, so, and then I stumbled on Forex, that was about 20, a friend of, I've been here for about Forex, but 2017, I think it's in November also, we went for an event, I'm a friend, a family friend, though it's bigger, mm. I'm only brother only. Mm. So he took me to that event. So you already explained to me, that was when MMM just recently mm. or something. Mm. So there's a guy that introduced the MMM to him. So he said that this guy seems to have gone over his losses. Mm. Is he going over his losses? He doesn't know. So he's going to call him and ask him. So he called the guy. The guy said, oh, the new thing now is down Forex. And I said, okay, no problem. They're having an event in Lagos. Can you teach us? He said, yes, they're having an event in Lagos. So, so on Saturday, go there. They knock him to tell me. Mm. Okay, your money ready. They're able to convince us in five minutes or in five minutes they're gonna sign up. Okay, no problem. How much is it? He told me I think the money was then was three hundred thousand naira. Wow, that's a lot of money for a seminar. No, not seminar for us to sign up to learn for it. Yeah, to learn. Okay, like I just have you said. You said you know through baby peeps. I don't know what baby peeps was then. Then I didn't know that baby peeps existed. Okay, but then I didn't. I didn't regret paying that money because just imagine I not paid the money. I, mm. I just got there, I paid the money, they were able to convince us. The words that gave it away for us was, there was one that, his name is Mayowa. He said, Forex is a game that if you travel to any country, maybe you are hit naked, you lose everything in this country now, if you are traveling to any country fresh, with internet connection and $50, you'll be powerful again. You can buy yeah. a house there. Say, so, mm. so really? That was big. Ah, uh, yeah. The Soviet dream. Immediately, I said, take my money. Man, I'll be, <laughs> I'll be in that sales now. <laughs> So that's how, yes, that was just... That's me. interesting. And, and, over, and over the years, you guys have become uh, a big force in the in the old Forex industry. I want to ask you, how did you raise capital for your Forex fund? Uh, Obviously, the first capital I funded, which is $50, was another side money that was lost. Me. Remember I told you I was selling phone? Mm. I don't know, this kind of... Mm. But when I started learning Forex, I showed that everything and I stopped. I'm kind of person, I can't do too many things at the same time. Mm -hmm. 
So that was the first money that I saved from my pocket. Then I invested, obviously, you know, now, nah, <laughs> blown. <laughs> then I started, um, I also just, I kept doing demo, demo. Even when I don't have money, I keep doing demo. Mm. Then how I got the major capital, that was 2018. That was from my friend. He was looking for a way to get out of a financial mess. Mm. And then he funded 20, we both funded $25,000 together. The chunk of the money belongs to him. And then I have the knowledge because I've been trading, trading, trading for so long, but no money to back it up. Then I was able to trade out $25,000 and $240,000. So that's, mm-hmm. yeah. That's me. In six months. And it's been done. To, I mean, like, which, what was your defining moment? I'm not talking about when you got the Lambo. What was your defining moment in the Forex trading industry that made, when did you start becoming profitable? All right. Uh, so, so for me, I think I started making major moves, uh, major uh, steps in, in the trading joining when I got funded by a particular woman, she's, she's abroad, right? So uh, she decided to like, like I said, I used to share my trades out. So mm-hmm. just for, I don't know, just for more legacy yes. or just for me to keep my tracks, mm-hmm. you know, right? So she found out about this and she, like, she checked my tracks, right? That, okay, this thing is good, right? She asked me my trade live account. I showed out my live account. Most of them, and at that time, I've started making money, blow it out, make money, blow it out. And she's like, okay, this guy, you can actually do something, yeah. right? She tried me out with $10,000. What year was this? This was like uh, 2017. Then. Okay, interesting. Tried me out with $10,000. And uh, the lady said, please don't lose more than, don't lose more than, 50% of this money, mm. right? Because she's just going to Canada there. And I said, okay, Mark, right? And I guess what she said, she was going to give me 10% of whatever profit we made. We made. Wow. And that 10% to me was like the only thing I was focused on. Because mm. that was like the first maybe major, money. major money I'll be seeing in my life. So the 10% is like big, right? So I started trading the account, $10,000. Making profits, more small, made like one thousand dollars. I got hundred dollars. Like the first hundred dollars, uh, my own profit share I got. Right, the first thing I used that money to do that my buddy, my guy, I used that money to take him out. We went to share the money together. Hey, it's uh, it is all. It's paying. Yeah. Is it time for you to quit your job right now? Yeah. But yeah, he didn't stick you quit his job. Right, I'm very sure you probably be watching this with that. <laughs> <laughs> wow. You see, we are seeing good with my very good friend, mm. right? So, like that, I was able to do it back to back consistently, and I can tell you that's how I made my first one million era. Wow! For that woman. Wow! Right now, when I made the first one million era, you know what I did? I invested in more too. Like what I did, because I was always trading with one Samsung for like that. Mm. And that's why I was managing, mm. right? I just got payouts. I went, I just went out of the house because my parents don't even know that money has dropped. Mm. Went out of the house and went to buy a laptop. I came back, did it, saw a good phone. They said, where did I get money from? Ha. They don't know that how to drop. <laughs> <laughs> so like that, I invested in more tools and things started like, starting to make sense, you know, and more like that, developed more passion for the game, mm. right? And that's like the, the breakthrough for me in the mm. first industry. Cause mm. I don't know if, if I was not opportune to like- Get that capital from that capital, probably I would have given up because there was no money. Mm. I could do steal money from my parents again. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Right. So there was no way. But what has been your biggest gain in the markets? What like, what's the biggest amount of money you made in one single day in the, in the Forex market? $6,000. One single day. How many hours did it take? Uh, let's say, because it was this trading, because I do this trading more, mm. right? Well, let's say roughly like about 12 hours. Interesting. Jeff, what has been your biggest loss in the market? Biggest loss? Mm. Um, I think uh, I've done crazy. I think I've done, um, I've done 190,000 in 2019. You lost $190,000 in 2019. And it didn't stop you from trading. How did you feel after the loss? <laughs> I didn't more encourage, just looking for a way to get more money. So I can just you didn't think of committing suicide? Nothing like that. You you were not crying? Crying, no way. I didn't feel bad for like two weeks because you know, whenever that major loss hit, 
you start making losses again. Exactly. And I had other people who were connected to me mm. that were copying my trades that they also lost. So mm. the social I gave to them not to fund one or two thousand dollars. Mm. Guess what? People that connected to other dollars were the people who dragging me more. Dude. What said to me was I wasn't taking any percentage from whatever I was making for them. Mm. We made money for a six month stretch, but one month messed up. So that was how and you lost this one ninety thousand dollars in six or one month. Yeah, it happened in two days, right? Whoa. And so for someone who so you're going to th- talk to us. How did you bounce back from that loss? Okay. I have called. Let me call first. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So how I bounced back was, okay, I, I started reading more uh, uh, financial books and I focused more on trading books like Trading the Zone by Mark Douglas. Uh, I love the audio books. So. Coming in, you had different books. Yeah. Okay. Different book. And I started focusing on a uh, trading psychology book by mm. Mark Douglas, mm. Trading the Zone. Mm. He's also on YouTube. It's a very long one. It's, I mean, it's everything that every, every trader should see that book. Or Take should. note of that book. I started watching. I started listening. I started taking notes. But I always knew that my problem was mm. myself. Mm. So when I start shifting, when we start shifting problem, one thing I've always learned out about first trader, we start shifting things. Maybe one of my take a look. Oh, it is the broker that manipulated. Oh, the market. Oh, it is the market that did this. Uh, oh, it is that that did uh, You are the problem. Yes. Every time that you take a look, yes. you take responsibility. Yes. That's what you learn. Yes. If you shift blame, your mind is short. Yes. You start, because if you shift to blame, how are you even learning from that anyway? Okay. So that's how I just looked okay, I was the problem. I started noticing what I did wrong. What I did wrong then was I was adding to losing position. position. Usually, I don't take more than three trips, mm. right? I started adding more position. And then that was when uh, Theresa May, the third prime minister of UK, mm. uh, announced that by October, she's not able to deliver Brexit due to the people of the United mm. Kingdom. Mm. Yeah, that she's, mm. she'll be exiting. She, yes, yes. GBP, USD kept tanking, and I was buying. I kept adding position. Uh-huh. I kept buying, I kept buying. Buy the dip. I'll tell you, we're buying buy the dip. dip. Buy the dip. Oh my, the dip kept dipping. <laughs> Where's that dip all out? <laughs> it kept dipping, dipping. Like, it, it took me hard. It was a hard issue. We got to the point that I was down $10,000. All right. Oh, don't worry. To reverse. To reverse. 20K. Don't worry. To I like this point. 25. It's to reverse. This thing went to 40K. Then when it got to 50K, it flew back up again. So when it got back to 10K, to me, that was like, it's a win still. Mm. But it didn't close. Don't worry. To come back in profits. That was from that 20k, another huge slab just came, minus 100k. The next day, everybody was already calling me, people that were connected, family, friends. What they said to me was, I wasn't charging them. They just knew that I already told them, if I make money, you guys are going to make money. If I lose, you guys will lose. That was what helped me. So they all just connected to the PPS, connected to my own trading, but uh, my trading account, and then that was it. So I was already down at 190k. Then my hand was just to shake. I just to close, to close the trade is very hard. Yes. <laughs> To close a losing trade. To close a losing trade is very hard. Especially when they lost. When it's lost. <laughs> Imagine. And, I, and you're looking at the loss like, bro, am I not going to lose this exactly. But I just have to like close my, I started closing down, closing down, closing down. And I like, that it's still on my Instagram today. Hmm. Yeah, that's 21st, 22nd of May, 2019. Hmm. 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 Well, loss. And, but now we have, we, we have made way more. <laughs> Interesting. Yeah. And so your bouncing back happened because you focused on yourself and you took the responsibility that you were the reason behind this. I want to ask Abby, what are the things that make Forex traders lose money? Well, there are common problem actually, or let me say similar problem that happens every trader, hey. right? One is um, the popular one that happens to everyone is having the same mindset, right? Now, everybody, coming into the market out of this mindset or they want to get money quick out, right? I used to be that person, mm. right? Uh, let me use myself as an example. I want to get money quick from the market. The moment you actually enter the market, like, uh, because I have one hundred dollars, I want to make $1,000. Trust me, the money is gone, mm. right? Because- Get out quick skin. Right? At that point, when you enter the market with that mindset, right? You're just gonna do something you're not supposed to do, mm. right? And when you do it, the money's gone, mm. right? Another common problem that happens to every trader is um, lack of proper knowledge, right? A lot of traders, especially newbies, even maybe not even newbies, like uh, people that have probably been in the game for a while, they don't get to like understand uh, the depths of the knowledge, 
right? Before you actually jump into the market. Mm. Now, for me, I like to, I'm, I'm kind of rational, right? I like to do things based on reason. Uh, that's just my philosophy. Mm. Now, for most of the traders, right? I just, I, I believe, because I study philosophy in school, and I believe, like, for you to be successful in this thing, yeah. you have to be a rationalist, mm. right? Which means that you need to always do something based on reasons. Mm. The best way you get knowledge is to actually find reasons to it. Now, like you said earlier, the problem is you. So whenever anything goes on in the market, the problem is you. Mm. I developed that mindset a long time ago, mm. right? When you know the problem is you, you lost money now, the best thing is for you to what? Go back to that market, don't complain, no no emotion, mm. just find out what, what have I done wrong right mm. now. When, when you find out what have I done wrong right now, make sure you try to correct that mistake mm. and try to sample this, okay, this is what I've done wrong. Mm. That thing you've done wrong, by the time you see it next time on the chart, it's going to be paying you. Mm. Because what well, you've been able to sample, okay, this is what I did wrong. Mm. But you can see next time, because let me tell you, chart is like replica. Mm. What happens to you on the chart can be what is going to happen next week, Monday. Mm. Mm. Am I right? True. Yeah. True. Similar so, pattern. True. Similar, Similar pattern. Right? True. What's, I've been in this game like so years. I can tell you like what's been happening. Yeah. Right? It's still what is happening today. Yes. That's kind of based on probably emphasis knowledge, mm. right? Based on experience. So, yeah, I can say if you're a newbie coming to the market, you know, you've been in this market, I can beat you based on experience, mm -hmm. right? But does it still mean that you might not be a better trainer than me? Mm. Based on reasons, mm. right? Mm. Just be a rationalist in the market. Something is wrong. Do we do something on uh, based on reasons? Mm. And trust me, you're good, mm. right? You make mistakes, that's for sure. Like I tell people, traders, uh, especially my students, if you're taking like profem right now, I'm not expecting you to pass it one time. Mm. Right? I'm I'm even gonna tell you ahead, right? You're realistic. Yeah. Like I don't give a lot of traders money to trade because I fund them, right? I'll tell you, if when they come back to me and be like, boss, I'm sorry, I lost this money. Man, I'll tell you, bro. I was don't... expecting now that I tell them. Yeah, I was expecting <laughs> you to lose it. <laughs> right mm. now, now sit you down. Right, sit down. Tell, show me the trades you've taken. Let me check your history. Right, then if we, if we were able to like, we were able to feel, figure out. Okay, this is the major reason he has he has lost this account. I make sure I correct him. And please don't do that again next mm. time. Then I'll give you like another trial. I used to give like my traders people that I personally come to me for help. Mm. I can try you out like for like three times. The lot of traders have given me money, right, to trade. You know, but I know I've been in that that kind of situation. Let me give you like example now. Today I will come to my DM, boss, try me out. I can flip your money. Mm. Do this. Trust me, back then in the yes, I used to be like that. I will meet all these uh, people that I think they have money online. Oh. Boss, spam people on their DM. Boss, please try me out. I can, uh, I can, I can make you money. Mm. They will never respond. Some will respond, right? Mm. But. Like that. So I can, I give traders a lot of trial, but I'm not expecting you to be successful at one, at uh, at the first trial, oh. right? You're going to make mistakes. Yeah. And another thing that kills us is this, right? Psychology. Yeah. Now, Before you go into psychology, you mentioned something about funding traders. And I'm sure you guys are, as and then, when you guys got into the game, I'm sure you guys didn't have what you have now. And you guys are probably using a particular platform to now fund traders. How do you now fund traders now? What platform do you use to fund traders? So we have Consumate Trader. So it's a proprietary firm that we... What's a pro firm? Profix is just a company that has a lot of money. I say, okay, come and trade for us and they will get to share profit at the end of the day. Okay. Then the trader keep the chunk of the money while the company keep a tiny part of the money because we understand that the trader is doing the heavy lifting. Okay. That's for the pro firm. Yeah, that's... But we have different kind of pro firms. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right? That the people doing the order wise. Okay. Right? But we are consumer. That's says. So let, let me hear about consumer traders because I've seen the buzz of consumer traders everywhere. Okay. Now, yeah. So, consumer trader is a company that we are co founders at. Mm -hmm. So, what we just basically do if you're a trader, you say you can't, you know how to trade, right? No problem. So, we're going to give you a count up to $400,000. We have a count $5,000, 10000 20000 like that, up onto $400,000. Yeah. Yeah. Then we yeah. want. So, if you take 100000 for example, and you say you can't trade, no problem. Give us like 
five hundred dollars for us is like for like an exam fee. Mm. You pay that five hundred dollars, it is refundable. We are going to give you the money back mm. when you pass the exam. But if mm. you don't pass the exam, the money is ah uh, gone. It's, okay, it's, it's gone, right? Okay. So when you pass for a hundred k, we are going to give you a hundred thousand dollars life account to trade for us. Okay. If you pass the test. Okay. All right. When you start trading, you are going to keep up to ninety percent. Okay. For example, let's say on that hundred k, you make ten thousand dollars on me. That's ten percent. They're yeah. going to be keeping $9,000 and keep $1,000. Wow. There's someone wonder, why are we giving you a big amount of money? Why don't we just share 50-50? We did that. Imagine we are doing, we are taking 10, uh, uh, just uh, 10% on 100 traders. Yeah. So I had one doing the heavy lifting. So you take a chunk. So how do one get on board uh, uh, consummate? And is there any is there any uh, stuff for this, for those watching this podcast? Yeah. So for those watching this podcast, you can get 5% off. You know, in, instead of you to pay five hundred dollars for you to get hundred thousand dollars account, you can get five percent off on that five hundred dollars. So the, there's a code on the other smaller, the other smaller. Right? Oh, okay, so there's a code showing on your screen that you will use to get that five percent off. Okay, use that code and get on board consumer traders. We'll be right back, and I'm going to ask critical questions to Abby and Jeff because there's something I want to ask them, and you don't want to miss that one. And I'm sure you're enjoying this podcast. Let's go on this quick short break and when we're right back, we'll get on board. Meet my friend Obrifor. He makes thousands of dollars monthly by offering his services to people that need them on the internet. Hi, my name is Obrifor and I work online. In the next few minutes, I will show you how and why I do what I do to make thousands of dollars monthly. Obrifor is a big time freelancer. Yeah, his story. So in 2015, after graduation, I got a job that was paying me 25,000 naira monthly. Knowing that I needed more, I thought of new ways to make money for myself. Now having no money to start anything, I stumbled on freelancing. Of course, I did my research and discovered that I can actually learn a skill and offer my services to foreign companies and individuals that need it from the comfort of my home. So I signed up on a couple of websites and started getting offers. Now in a short while, I earned more than the salary that I was being paid monthly. Oh, before I decided to quit his job, go fully into freelancing. So years later, something tragic happened. Oh, before he invested his money and other people's money into some e-commerce business venture, unfortunately, he ran into a loss as the business crashed, crashed, crashed. I ran into losses, I was owing people millions and my wedding was just around the corner. Well, I got married to my beautiful wife and even went on to incur more debt because of my business. I needed to find a means to get back on my feet. So in 2021, I decided to go back to freelancing. And in just six months, I was able to pay off my debt. I'm living a better life now, working fully as a freelancer and earning in dollars. I've also been able to use some of the money made from freelancing to revive my crypto and e-commerce business. What is freelancing? Freelancing is said to happen when you sell your skill. Video. That's about 1.2 million. That's insane. And only on Daba, Obrifo is teaching the millionaire freelancing course. And I'm excited about this course as I'm his first student and the class is closing soon. So get ready. Grab a seat and come learn how to make thousands of dollars monthly. Instead of searching for jobs after school or NYC or waiting for funding to start a business or you're still waiting to make your first $1,000 or $100 from the internet, why not visit www.daba.school to sign up for the Millionaire Freelancing course right now? Or you can download the Daba app on your Google Play Store to get the course. The internet is one of the best inventions and in this can help anyone within and outside Africa to gain financial freedom to live your dream life. Okay, welcome back to Wealth Creation uh, Series exclusive podcast. Jeff, how many cars are Forex giving you since it came to crypto? It came to Forex. Forex, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, all right, and then the cinema. I don't know. I don't, I don't, <laughs> what are the cars you have before X? Okay. You recently bought a range. Okay. You have a BMW. Okay. You have a Benz. Okay. The one that is parked outside is a Benz. Uh -huh. That's when I've seen you with. Yeah. So where where is where, where are the remaining? 
Yeah, I also had a Range Rover before. Then, then there's a Porsche you got in Qatar. Yeah. Okay. And I also have what's it called? Uh, a Lexus. That was the one I said. No, okay. Lexus is the one I also had Lexus. Okay. And I also had a Kia. Okay, so yeah. seven. Yeah, so far. Wow, oh, good. I mean, I'm on the way. <laughs> right now, um, yeah. How many cars? I, I think about that, that number. Is, uh, that number two. So, what was the motivation behind a Lambo? Okay. <laughs> Everybody has been asking about this Lambo, 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 you know? That's me. Lambo. Lambo. <laughs> all right, all right. Like I said, when, when, when we started, right, I said, uh, one major thing that pushed me to, to start this journey was seeing the, the, the freedom these guys I was looking up to then, mm. right? Seeing how they were living and um, these flashy cars. Mm. And one way or the other, I've always had it at the back of my mind. Guy, you need to do this one day. A lot of legal stuff, please. <laughs> Then, trust me, when I have, I'm somebody like when I when I want to achieve something, I I can't sleep. Wow, uh, right? I can't sleep. I would just anybody that knows me well, mm. will talk. In the middle of the night, yeah. in the middle of the night, no, because there's nobody I want to share with. Basically, mm. I'm just like one man, right? Mm. But I can't sleep. Yeah. I'll just yeah. I'll be disturbed. I'll call you at midnight. Like, Let's do this now. Let's do like, Jay, my father, what can, can we can we be made this? Guys, I, th I, I, I think I think it's time to have that documentary on, on, on the rise of Abby and the rise of Jeff. So we're, 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 a documentary is coming soon. Because we need to, you know, one of the things I like about this podcast and what we're sharing, we're inspiring young people. We're inspiring, not just young people, people are watching this. You know, one of the things I love about where you mentioned how you the twenty thousand dollar job and what you do want to do and what is motivating you now because if you know what's driving a man you now know why he's mad you now know why he's a beast you now know why he's insane bro you dropped out of school just to go learn how to make money online okay and this is it this is where you are today it's a big motivation people who build wealth are risk takers okay yeah. but Abby, after buying the lambo i'm going to ask you a question that lambo is three twenty million naira Terran. Three hundred ten million. Okay, the ten million on top of it will be my commission. <laughs> okay. And I'm going to ask you direct now uh, because we live in a country where more than seventy percent of people, I'm not sure they have up to five hundred thousand in their bank accounts, and you are buying a Lambo. Abby, are you a forex trader or a fraud star, aka Yahoo? <laughs> 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 Take a deep breath. Abby is on the hot seat. How do you buy a Lambo of 310 million in Nigeria? Abby, tell us. Okay. Like I said, I'm just a random trader. Like, Elion. Oh, that's my. <laughs> I'm just a random trader, like any one of you watching this. Mm. You're a trader, right? And, um,. I'm just somebody that uh, I love what I do, and uh, I have passion for it, and I do it because I want to be the best in this thing, mm. not even because of money, right? You know, we are just for traders, right? We all have like people looking up to us online. Yes, you want to be the best, right? I want to be the best too. I want to have that legacy that okay, people look at me at the best. Mm. Actually, I just feel like uh, if you have that mindset, you want to be the best, mm. the money comes easily. Mm. Now, I used to give example of uh, look at every other professions, right? Professions that are actually making money. Are they making money because uh, they're after the money or because they actually know what they are doing? Oh, yeah, the best in this thing. Mm. Study that area, tell me the answer. Mm. My money comes because what I'm best at what I do, mm. right? And I do it not just because of the money alone. No, the money is the it's the motivation, the motivation, right? Right. And I'm just in love with what I do, you know. And I believe like if you develop passion for it, any any profession, right? 
just have that mindset. You can achieve whatever. There's no limit. Interest. Right? Trust me, when I was going to buy this Lamborghini, all right? No, I already have it at the back of my mind. But I, I don't know it was going to be so soon. Mm. Right? No, I might have the money maybe way before. But of course, you will have to think twice because of the society you are. Yeah. Right? Like this, this is my very close friend. We talk all the time. Right? There's, we could have buy out since way back, right? We're like, man, this is not the right time. It's not time. Yeah. Uh, we got this yeah. It's going to time. And at the same time, it was one night, right? Yeah. I said, Jeff, fuck this thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's time. <laughs> and, again, and again, like, Abby, you're not answering the question, like, are you a Yahoo boy? Or, yeah, I think you Well, I think you should answer the question now for yourself. <laughs> whether I'm a Yahoo boy. Or... Let me call me here, too. Right. What people don't really know is, I don't think Yahoo can give you the type of money we're making. So, if you know what's going on in the, in the back end, you will know that, okay, no, this is way beyond MC4. It's way beyond buying and selling. Let me just give them a taste. <laughs> Something big is coming from my brother. I'm serious. So, like, <laughs> <laughs> shut it down. Shut down. <laughs> so, like, the tennis, right? Like he was saying, I don't think uh, Yahoo or whatever you call it can, can give the money that you can make in the first industry, <laughs> right? Now, nah, even talk less of like entertainment industry, like you were saying. Yeah. How do you call me the time? Show, show, show business entrepreneur. Show business entrepreneur, yeah. right? You're talking the likes of like this musician, they just yeah, 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 like, yeah. They said new cat or something. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna ask you guys new cat. Okay, new cat. Uh, new cat cannot give you something like this, you know, right? Trading is actually broad. There's no limit in trading. I can tell you that. And you know, the funniest thing is when you started to get paid in trading, mm. you blow like, what's going on? Mm. Just have like one winning straight straight month. You're winning one straight month. Mm. Bro, I'm telling you. Your money is all limited. God, man. And when you're not like the kind of person that, okay, you know that you're winning in that month, you're not like, like to expose yourself to risk. Fuck, bro. <laughs> <laughs> and the day that you're going to lose as well, right? That's why you need to like. What's been your biggest loss in the market? My biggest loss was the I lost uh, uh seventy nine thousand dollars actually. In one trade, not one trade. One day, not one day. Like okay. um, between two days actually. Okay, okay, right. I think that was twenty twenty. Yeah, I went broke, bro. Yeah. That's when I bought my first house. Then I plan on furnishing. Then uh, you know, I invested money in trading everything. Okay, yeah. That was the time that I was having my winning streak, right? Back to back. I was flipping $20,000 to $40,000. So everything was good. I bought the house then, right? So because of stupid me then, I went to put all the money back into the market, like the profit after buying my house. Then I like, let me flip some money. That's when I plan on buying my 63 then, mm. right? Now, I couldn't buy the 63 then at that point. No, I already have the money. Mm. I couldn't buy the season three then because the loss that not happened. Mm. And I went broke, right? Then it was like around August, right? Then I went broke, went back inside, low key. That's when, if you know this popular picture, people laugh at me. Uh, yeah, uh, I still <laughs> buy it, right? <laughs> they'll come to my house, they'll make more of me. But, hey, man, Michael, right? They'll make more of me. Like, oh, they'll be no bro. We just stay inside. So, so. It, it, it embeds the question I saw on 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 Twitter one day. Can a forex trader who has made millions go broke? Yeah, it's possible. So I think this is the answer already. A millionaire forex trader is telling. Can someone who has made a million dollars in the market go broke? Put it in the back of back. The market can take it from here. Eight seconds. Eight seconds, bro. Last 2022, on the day Luna, on the day Luna was crashing, mm. I was on short on Luna with ten thousand dollars. I didn't know that would go to zero. Bro. I was in Abu Dhabi. And from Abu Dhabi to Dubai, while I was in Abu Dhabi, I was just I just went on my phone. I started doing something on the phone. So I went to the museum there. There was one new museum. They brought uh this dragon or something like that. Bro, in 30 minutes I came out with hundred K. Bro. Did you close the position before it goes to zero? I closed it. I was scared. Ah yeah. <laughs> I was scared because man, the money was so easy. Uh, so, so uh, I was going with 20k. I come back under 20k. I did it like two, four, five, six times. I saw 100. I said this is enough. So I started hearing all these 
don't be greedy, I, all kind of things on my head. Aye, aye. But Adi, before then, before then, I was in a lunar position with 60K when Luna was at 40 something dollars oh. some days before shorting. Wow. So yeah. I was I was this year in and I left that trade in 12K with ah oh, thank God I left this trade, I did hit my stop loss. And bro, three days after Luna went to zero. Right. So, Imagine. I have scared for one thing. Why didn't I go into three days coma? <laughs> so I just forget what it is. <laughs> I just let me not forget about the trade that some people were crying the day Luna was crashing. Yes, finally. I was I didn't go to come online. I was just doing boom. So the the Luna I had, because Luna gave me some good money. I, I started buying Luna when Luna was I was in Dubai then 2020. I started buying Luna 2020, 2021, beginning. Yeah. So I bought Luna way before Luna became ten dollars. So I had some chunks of Luna and I held that Luna from one particular position, I think to fourteen dollars to twenty. I sold, I bought again. Luna crashed from $15 to $3. I held it till from $3 back to $90. And also, majority of my Luna at $90. So I was getting Luna as well, like a term in future. So I went to take some portion of it after taking profit, everything. I put some portion of it in one of these Luna wallets. And I'm like, okay, I'll show my son in future. Man, some shit. You don't want some crypto, man. You don't want some crypto, man. So I kept $15,000 of Luna. In that listing, I'm like, okay. So, so much I kept on withdrawing, withdrawing, withdrawing. So, the last 6, 7K or so on Luna, next thing I woke up the next day from other 9, 10K, I saw 7K, I saw Luna will come back. 5K, well, bro, next thing. One day. <laughs> <laughs> they don't buy the day. I didn't buy that. <laughs> so, the only consolation I had was I've, I've, I've taken up my capital, I, I multiplied my money, I made money, I made, I made, I made like, right, that's, that's by, that's by 5, 6X on Luna. And that same day when Luna crashed, I made that amount of money. This, this is, I'm sure this is one part that we didn't even talk about. Like, yeah, that's that's the loss that we make on this, yeah, this crypto. In the crypto market. You invested in crypto? A lot. I have a lot of shit coins. I'm really still with you. It's just that you yeah. have like $5,000. <laughs> money that is coming from like $50,000. I'm not going invest in crypto. I'm invested crazy. I can't even keep count. Jesus. So tell me, this one is going to pop. I just buy like thank you, drop it. Bro, I'll tell you, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Was it 20 or 20? Yeah. So it's 20 to know. You remember Baby Lodge? Is it? Is it? Oh, yeah, that's 20 to know. 20 to 22 beginning. Yeah. All this money, right. yeah. Right. This this was like loss on our end. And I'm sure it happens to a lot of people. Yes. Right. But one way or the other, right? Since that thing happened, I was just sad probably my life, for like a few hours. Mm. Trust me, I never ever thought about the money again. Yeah, you moved on. This money is a lot, if I tell you, though, right? Yeah. It's a lot because these are money that everybody was like thinking it's, it's an investment. Mm. So, yes. you know, my mind too is an investment. Yes. So, I kept it there, right? Well, I'm going to say this as the guy who is the crypto guy in this because I've not started trading Forex, but I'm going to say this. I think there's a lot of shit that's happened in the crypto market in the past. Uh, one year plus. I, I think that there's a lot of, uh, it's it's a whole discussion for another day. Uh, I have a lot of, as, and that's why I tell people if you're a new investor, you won't do anything in crypto, just focus on Bitcoin and Ethereum for now. Then fundament, a, a lot of, a lot of, I think a lot of changes come to the crypto markets because of both regulations. I also think that the advent of so many of these shit coins drew away liquidity from the sex market, that's the centralized exchanges, and I think that with the old um, Fed, whatever Fed did last year, mm. pulled out money from the market. There's all liquidity pulled out of the market. And crypto, but crypto will keep having that evolving. But it's going to be so hard having those kind of time where you want to have one next sheet coins that come in and boom, 500x. People still do it, but it, it's, it's rare. I missed the 2020, I missed the 2020 version of crypto. I missed the 2017 version of crypto. Uh, <laughs> You missed the money start. I miss because bro, the, the growth. So so when I say I miss it, I miss those era because I traded those era. I traded twenty seven. I started buying Bitcoin at six hundred dollars. Okay, in twenty sixteen, and I started at one thousand two. So I can I I now see what's going on in the crypto market now. Man, it's 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 sometimes you just see Bitcoin in the price for four three four days and all that. I don't want to go into crypto. So for crypto, those who want to learn crypto for me, you you go on www.daba.school, you get my crypto trader make money course. And I want to ask you guys a question about if you're going to advise a new trader, somebody who is coming, and I'm going to ask Abby, I'm going to ask you this. If somebody's coming into the forex market now, 
His name is Joseph. Joseph is a graduate. He has small, maybe 200,000 Naira, 100K, but wants to be like Abby in the future. And Abby is what motivating him. Yeah, he went, he went to a lot of Lagos uh, Instagram page and he saw Abby with a Lambo. And he said, this Abby is not a false star, he's a forex trader. And he goes on uh, Yaba left and he sees the same video again. What will you tell Joseph, who is just inspired and wants to become the next Abby in future, wants to become a forex trader, making cool money? All right. Uh, in this case, I'm just going to use myself as an Go ahead. Right? Like I started, somebody inspired me. Mm. And you, the similarity, and if you're looking up to me right now, and the person I was looking up to, right? One thing I never did is look at the lifestyle mm. directly. Mm. But what I did it was actually go deep down to these people and see what they do in the back end, mm. right? Now, what I watch more is not more of their lifestyle videos. What I watch more is their, their knowledge. I mean, they're giving knowledge, their work. That's why I study more, right? So I believe you starting today, right? Like I said, I mentioned this website, bbpeeps.com. You can get the basic knowledge that everything you need is actually there. Just focus on the knowledge. Mm. Don't focus on the money and develop passion for it. Mm. Develop a passion, focus on learning it, and what the end is going to come, mm. right? Yeah. That's just like the pure uh, advice I can give to anyone. And let me tell you something. It is quite easy to become very successful in this study. Tell me something. Now, now, when we all start, right, we are not at, uh, opportune to, to get easy funding. Mm. There's no money. Nobody's going to give you $400,000 to come and trade, mm. right? But nowadays, my friend, when you have the knowledge, right, you can prove to yourself. All you need to do is go to ProFems, mm. go to www.cosimetrailers.com, mm. right? I'm very glad and I'm very happy that we've got into a stage today that we can make the process easier mm -hmm. yeah, for our fellows in Nigeria coming on board. Mm. Right, where we felt to say that we are giving money to traders. Mm. So all you need to do is come to consumer traders. We are going to give you money to trade. Mm. Right? All you need to do for me is prove to me that what? You, you can, can actually manage this money. You can follow these rules. Follow these rules. Get paid. Make profit. You get your percentage. I break my percentage. Mm. Right? And like that, do it repeatedly. Right? You become one of my best traders, one of my top traders. Nice. Right? Now, on my on the platform right now, we currently have like more than 50 top traders that are trading high equity for us. Mm. Now, like, if, we, if you notice, okay, this guy has been withdrawing back to back, we'll call you separate. We'll give you like another set of money. Mm. And we'll, oh, this guy. Because one way or the other, we've also turned to like business man. Yes. yes. Right? We're not just like ordinary trader again. Yes. Me, I'm looking for because I know that there's opportunity in this mm -hmm. forex market. Right? Yes. So I'm also looking at people that can multiply the effort. Multiply me. Yes. yes. So if you're good, and I see that this guy has been doing so well because of me, we'll call you outside. We'll fund you big equity, mm. all more than one million dollars. Mm. Trade this money wherever you make. You can have probably at that stage the percentage when I refresh. Yeah, because it's a private deal, right? Yeah. But what? You're still making much, much numbers of money, mm. right? So it's very easy for you to become successful in this interest ready uh, industry. And I'm very glad and uh, I'm proud that you're looking up to us, looking up to me. Thank you. Keep it up. Great. Believe in your dream. And I believe you can. For new traders who are doing that, you okay. can achieve your dream. Jeff, yeah. what would you do differently if you had to start Forex trading all over again? Yeah. One thing I would do differently is so. Um, very early is I don't want to play it safe. You don't want to play it safe? Yeah, I don't want to play it safe. Wow. When I'm young. Because, okay, now, if you're young, don't play it safe. It's... Let me ask again. Yeah. What would you do differently, yeah, if you were to start Forex trading again? Again. Yes. I will not play it safe when I'm, when I'm telling you. I'll repeat it again and let me explain. Okay. Trading, just as with many other businesses, risk, all right? The more the risk you take, the bigger the amount of money you get to catch in. And the more you can lose. The more you go to can they start to lose too. Or you just like having a Lamborghini. Yeah? It's a super fast car. You can mm. crash in time, right? Yeah. But if you get someone who is driving for Formula One, what are the chances of that guy to crash in? 
tiny. Mm. So lay your craft and don't crash. Mm. Learn not to crash in time. Mm. So what I mean by that is if you're a young lad, if you play safe, you're just, time is something that you can't buy. Money can always come back mm. at any time. But if you're a young guy and you're still feeling like under your guardian, like me, when I was saying my guardian, you know, mm. that was the best way, exactly. best time to That's go all in. Time. Trust me, crazy with. I'm not telling you this because I want you to go play. I can't, no, no, no. I, I'm just telling you the fact. Mm. It doesn't really make you really peak. I swear. Uh, stop using 0 0.01. <laughs> and regardless of 0 0.01, yeah. life advice, whatever you do, right? Mm. Yeah. If you're probably under your parents or any other guardian and they are feeding you mm. right now, this is the best time to, to take the risk, mm. right? And when you're taking the risk and something is coming to your pocket, be smart. Mm. Don't spend it yet, mm. right? Save up, invest. Invest in yourself, and right? Invest in what you do more. And like that, you can not get to a state that you'll be like, you know, my guardian, go to outside. If I let me let me add a story to you still that 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 what I'm telling you. Like I love taking crazy risks. Imagine dropping out of school. You must have think that that's crazy. That's madness. Crazy. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> crazy, right? Society will be against you, like I used exactly. to the backup plan and all that. I didn't care about backup plan. Wow. Now that was my style. You bust the bridge. Exactly. I just bond rest. I'm not going back to this thing again. Damn. Look at him. I and a friend of mine that we grew up together, he believes he loves school. And then he finished school. Then then he already had a very good paying job. He was being paid 80K. I'm sure he will also be watching this video right now. Jesus. So while he was going for that 80K job, then me, I was busy learning Forex. Then I was zero. I don't earn anything. In fact, I was losing crazily. So a time came. Then I was already making money. I bought my first car. That car, I didn't tell anybody. Car, that's when my brother not. How did you buy? How did you get money to buy this car? We were shocked. So I told him it was Forex. I now showed him what. Now my brother is currently trading to today. Wow. From that shock of that time that I bought wow. that car. Wow. So then this my guy. Each time he see any successes, he get motivated. So he went to meet his employer. I said, "Oh guys, I want to quit." Do you know what the employers did? They increased the salary from what from eighty k to one twenty k. Then you know what? He stayed back again. One twenty k, big amount of money. Started working again. Then I was already making way more money than he was doing. What he didn't know. Then a time came again. I said, then he came to meet me. I said, if I were you, then that's when I would be more crazy. I would be more mad at them. Mm. So you guys could pay me this 120K all along. Are you going to pay me 80K? Then you should know that you won't wait. Yeah, you should be it's whopping on the wall. Exactly. I will get mad. But then he kept doing it and all of that. I told him 2018, guy, yeah, come and do this thing. 2019, 2020. Do you know what? Last two months ago, it's currently in forest. He quit his job. Wow. So something I would have done way long ago. You know his fears. He said, oh, yeah, you know, I've got a girlfriend. What if the man come? How would I pay? I've got more. I've got this. I've got that. I said, no, you even have excuses to give. That uh, I'm just starting to work. Please leave me alone. But you're not giving these excuses. Like you're thinking about this. You're thinking like grandpapa when you're just a young dude. Mm. That's why you should take risks. Mm. Now that he's not, he's not almost like trapped. He's not in the rat race. Mm. He go to work, pay views. Stay at home, struggle like that. He kept doing that, but each time he get motivated. Each, if you see me buy a new car, we buy a new house. Come again, hey, Jeff. Jeff, I'm tired of this life again. He come, and if you go to this company, they'll give him the risk. They'll add another forty k extra for him. Forty thousand naira. You go back again like that. So if you have taken risk earlier, now I'm not saying he can't still catch up. Mm. But imagine the, what he would have done the time that you four, three years time. ago. The time frame that I was telling him, guy. Right now, you can afford, like, you can afford to lose, lose, and lose again at that stage. Mm. Like, right now, I can afford to lose. Imagine when you are already having a wife. Mm. The chances of you affording to lose is tiny because you don't want to make someone else daughter to suffer. Mm. Imagine not having a son, a kid, like children. It's crazy. You don't, you know, it's not even about you now anymore. It's not about your kids, your dependents. Mm. Mm. You know what I mean now? Yes. So, when you're younger, they take oh, crazy yes. risk. Because if you can fail, that's the game. Mm. No one doesn't have the game. I like the fact we are talking about failures here because so you don't make it look like failure is all scary thing you do. But we're going to be rounding up this podcast now, but I want to ask how do people learn from Jeff? How will they learn from Abby? Because I'm sure you guys should have something you use in teaching people because this knowledge alone shouldn't just be in your head. How do people learn Forex trading from the two of you? All right, we're going to have academy separately. Okay. So what we always advise is anyone that you best resonate with and your personality. What's your platform? My platform is firepipsfx.com. What's your platform? Online. Abbeforest.com. Okay, so yeah. if you want to learn Forex trading, go to firepips.com. Yeah. If you want to learn, you can go to Abby. If I were you, I'll get the two of them. <laughs> okay, I'll take from Abby's brain. 
I'll take you from Jeff Brace, so I'll become Jeff Abby. Yeah, regardless, <laughs> regardless uh, if you're watching this, I think you could just go to www.babypeace.com. Okay. You can get the general start, knowledge. Just start, just start from there. Okay. If you're really serious, because I understand, like, uh, not everyone would get opportunity to, like, uh, to mm -hmm. get the money, okay. yeah, mm -hmm. to buy the code. And again, in our website, we also have the free video. If you want the video version, it's free. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to firepipsfx.com, the free version, just okay. on the free, it's absolutely for free. That's so, interesting. Yeah. So just go, just go to this site and uh, you can learn for free right there. You know? Okay. And if you're watching this video, do not forget to like, subscribe, comment. Let me know. Okay. I'm going to give you some people gifts. List four things you learned from Abby and Jeff in this podcast. Okay. And we're going to give out something. Don't forget to comment. Don't forget to like. Don't forget to share. Before we leave, what are the parting words you want to give uh, to the audience who are watching. I know you guys have spoken a lot. You've spoken a lot. You've spoken a lot. Don't even though I have one kind of questions for you guys, but let's go ahead. Uh, what are the parting questions? What are the parting uh, advice we have for our audience? You guys have said a lot, but yeah. if there's any other thing you want to say, uh, let me know just in 30 seconds. Never think quitting, doing what I like to come close to your head and mm. always go harder. Mm. Go harder and don't, don't, don't come, don't, don't, don't be conservative. Be crazy with your risk. I mean, and whatever you do, Whatever profession you do, just try to be the best. Great. Right? Be the best and uh, you see the opposite side of it. For those of you who don't know what Dabba 5000 is, it's a mentorship platform where we mentor people in different areas. Real estate, uh, finance, uh, sales, business. You're going to be learning from, imagine learning from the likes of Jeb Benson, RBFX, Dixon and Soft, or Chinon So, uh, experts, me, myself, uh, legal experts, marketing experts, Ronaldo Zimora, different people in different fields, people that will change your life. Mentorship, okay? So it's a yearly subscription stop. So what you do is go to www.school slash dabba5000, the website showing on your screen and on the link. Okay, and you subscribe, okay, to be part of it. It's my close. For those of you asking, Chris, Annie, mentor me, mentor me. Those who you want to get mentorship in tech and building a business, this is the platform I use to mentor people. So subscribe right now to Daba 5000, okay? For those who want to become successful, wealthy, mentorship is your answer. And I have this question first for Abby. If you were a wild and domestic animal each, what animals would you be? If you were a wild animal, which animal would you be? Dog. Dog. Uh, dog is both wild and domestic. So either you be a wolf and a dog. There's there's wild dog. Yes. Right? Yes. And there's domestic dog. Okay, so you be the two. What's your best dog? You look like someone that loves dog very well. <laughs> Actually, I, I had like four dogs and that's the one. <laughs> Why? <laughs> I got tired. Is it? Okay. Jeff, I'm going to ask you this question. Okay. Um, if you were to meet a day in your life with one life-changing personality in the world, who would that person be? Yeah, someone you don't meet often, you don't see often, but you are dreaming to see this person. And you know he's a life-changing personality. But currently alive or? Alive. Yeah. Jeff Soros. Jeff Soros, interesting. Uh, the reason why I'm not even going to, I wanted to put um, a, 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 I wanted to put some timer to this and some fine to it because I know that I can't interview millionaires and if they fail their question, they should drop like hundred thousand dollars in my account. Okay, la another one, Jeff. This is your own. In the most correct order, pick the next correct activities in your life right now. A, get another citizenship. B, get married. C, have a child. D, build a company. In the most correct, pick the next activities in your life now. One. Uh, There's a big chat. Get a get a citizenship. Okay. Um, the teen have a child and get to marry. I don't know the one I'll come first. Jeff, where will you get married? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, uh, Jeff, where will you get married? Very soon. Very soon. Next year. This year. Uh, <laughs> okay. I mean, this one is for you. And I uh, think it's the last one. Uh, um, if you have to, this option, $1 billion in cash or a business worth $1 billion, which one will you take? A business worth $1 billion. Mm, interesting. Interesting. I mean, find that one again. Three places you want to visit and why do you want to visit them? 
Is that for me? Yes. <laughs> Three places you like to visit in the world, and why do you want to visit these places? Uh Okay, that's that's one place I always Globally, not just Nigeria, anywhere in the world. Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico, okay. Why? Because South Sin Trader's always going there. Interesting. Right. Yeah. I really want to go find out what it's there. It's it's the money hub. Okay. <laughs> okay. Exactly, that's why. Number two? I think Puerto Rico has actually been like the number one. So don't we have to I only have one only, only, only one. Any other places you probably where they, they no. Okay. Where they they are making money, I'll be there. <laughs> Okay, like Monaco or Wall Street. I mean, guys, I've been to Wall Street. No, no, no. no. I think Wall Street's been the least. Thank you guys for coming to my podcast. Thank you for honoring us. I will do a daba. I, 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 these guys, they, 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 they took their time, they stayed, and guys, you guys don't want to. I want this video to get to 1 million views. So share it to the video, share it to this kid. <laughs> Share it to the old and the new cat. I need to see you guys. Who are the new cats in the forex industry? <laughs> <laughs> I want the old. I you an old cat in the industry. I'm your answer. Maybe you should shift them back. <laughs> okay, so so maybe everybody's a cat. Everybody's a cat. So uh, maybe in the next edition of this podcast, we're going to know the old and the new cats in the trading industry. So like come your way next time guys we are having a live class soon and pay attention and just follow what we do at daba tv don't forget to like subscribe share and comment thank you very much guys abby thank you jeff thank you so much guys thank, thank you, you thank so you much yeah. thank you so much don't forget to sign up on consumer traders use the link that you're seeing on my on this page and use the uh the discount code that's showing on the screen until I come your way, keep succeeding, don't give up, go make mama proud. God bless you all.